You really want to know how I feel about the way hair products? That's how. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. I know, that was a little extreme. But you know, I had to grab your attention somehow. All right, so in this video, we're doing a whey product review. Hey everyone, I'm Becca. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a hairstylist in Maryland in the United States and I like to try hair products on my YouTube channel. I also like to see people in the salon. So if you're interested in coming to see me at the salon, I will leave my Instagram handle over here. <laughs> I have to go to work this afternoon, which is why my hair looks so nice, okay. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time I post new videos. I have been trying these whey products for a very long time. And I did a poll a while back on my community page about taking them out of the trash can. I did a poll on my community page asking what hair products. I listed a few and Whey was one of the top ones. I know that was a while ago and it's taking me a while to make this video, but I wanted to make sure that I actually felt this way about these products before I just drag them through the mud. Not really, I'm not gonna, I don't like dragging things through the mud, but there are a few things that I like about these products. I will share with you my favorite one towards the end because I'm a YouTuber and that's what we do. And I will tell you like my least favorite product. And I'll just start with my least favorite product, okay? Um, so the shampoo and conditioner, didn't like it. I feel like it didn't do anything to my hair and I do have a sensitive scalp and I could definitely tell there was a lot of fragrance in these shampoos because like the second I got out of the shower, my scalp was so itchy. Um, I will say I have a sensitive scalp, so maybe take that with a grain of salt. I got the medium hair shampoo and conditioner and I'm not like a major ingredients person, okay? I'm one of those people that's like, if it works, it works. I'm not like, I don't want it to be gluten-free. It's great if it's sulfate-free. Like, you know, if it's if it can be good, and it's good, I'll use it, but I'm not like crazy about ingredients. I'm not gonna be using like Suave, but the um, fragrance is the one, two, three, four, like fifth ingredient, which means it's more, like there's more of it in this product. And that is one thing I will say about this <laughs> shampoo. This is like a perfume and it almost is like my grandma's perfume. Like that's what it smells like. You know when perfume has like sat too long, like it maybe goes bad. That's kind of what this smells like. And I'm really sorry, like I feel bad. And one of the reasons it's taken me so, I just spit everywhere. One of the reasons I just, it took me so long to make this video is because I didn't, I don't like being mean. <laughs> Okay, but there are good things. Wait till the end and I'll tell you which ones I like. Yeah, I just don't, I don't love this fragrance and it's like so, so strong. But, oh my gosh, if I had an Airbnb and I wanted like such a cute vibe or something, like aesthetic in my shower, look how cute. Like they look so freaking cute. And I actually don't mind that this is like a huge cap. I think it's like, it's a good <laughs> bottle experience, but Product, not my thing. My next least favorite is the hair oil. Okay, y'all know I love my Kerastase Elixir oil and I was like, well, maybe. Maybe since this is like 20 something dollars, I don't even know, like it could compete. Like maybe, and they sell it at Sephora, right? So like, of course, it, it's gonna be somewhat good, right? Wrong. I feel like it doesn't do anything. I just don't, I don't feel like it does anything to my hair. I still keep giving it a chance because I have it, but like, I just, I, I, I just don't feel like it's worth it. Cause like, if I use an oil, it's one of my last products or it's something that I'm using like multiple days in a row. So it cannot be too heavy. And I need to feel like it's actually hydrating as well as giving me like heat protection and shine, which is what the Kerastase Elixir oil does. But this, I just feel like I'm putting olive oil or like vegetable oil on my hair. Not into it, don't like it, don't recommend. All right. Also, it smells like, um, what's that flower? Magnolia, maybe? So, <laughs> that is one thing I will say. Their scents are so strong, so strong. I guess we're going from least favorite to most favorite, so here we go. All right, so the next one that was my middle of the road is the finishing cream. It's like fine. I, like, I've used it for my slick back buns. Um, like if my hair just isn't smoothing down, I'll put this in dry and like use it to slick back my bun. I've used other things that I like better than this. I feel like I'm still giving this one a try. Lived in, find a medium hair that lived in look. Mm, maybe, like 
It does have heat protection in it, which is great. And I, I, you know, guys know I'm like a huge fan of heat protection. It's like, okay, right? So if I really like a hair product, I'm gonna always like gravitate towards it and use it until it's gone. If I'm, if I don't really feel like I notice a difference, it'll literally sit in my closet forever. This, I've had this for, I don't know, almost a year, nine months, and I've maybe used it five or six times because I can't like, I don't feel like it does anything, so. There you go. Um, my next one, getting into like more of the products that I like. So this is actually empty, all right? This is like a super dry shampoo. They're dry shampoo. Oh, I forgot. I have one that I really like. <laughs> ADD, <laughs> ADHD, <laughs> coming at ya. All right, so this is the dry shampoo. I, I actually like this in a way, like, for not necessarily for texturizing and not necessarily for like absorbing oil. I actually like this more for like a hair perfume. Um, that's like a thing that's happening these days. And it's like super, I have a little bit left in there. My husband's gonna be able to smell that because it does smell really nice. Like this is one of my favorite smelling products and I don't even know what it is because I'm terrible at knowing what, it's florally. It's like florally and perfume and I really like it as like I know maybe this is second day hair or like I've worked at the salon all day I just need a refresher before going on date night this will make my hair smell good and it'll just give me enough fluff that it'll last me through the rest of the evening so not my most favorite like texturizing or dry shampoo but I do like it for that occasion next we have the way volume spray now this is my second bottle of this. I've used a travel size one and then I went ahead and bought the bigger size one because some of the other volume sprays are just at a higher price point and I didn't feel like spending that much money. And so this does the job enough, but still like not my most favorite volume spray, but it does give me a little something. I will say that this gives a good like amount of hold at your root. You're gonna wanna spray it at your root when your hair is wet and blow dry it in. It gives like that hold in there before you dry it that you need if you're gonna like curl it or blow dry it like like a voluminous blow dry but it's like not my favorite but it's an option at its price point to give you just enough i will say that i feel like this almost is a little heavier in the long run like i i felt like my hair got a little like greasier when I use this product again not my favorite there's better ones out there but for the price I would say it's decent enough and gives you enough hold and enough volume I don't know what that dinging is and I'm not starting over <laughs> to get you through if you know what I mean and this is probably gonna smell like alcohol but I can't I have no idea what this smells like but it's very strong and my last favorite product which I forgot I'll be right back I'll go get it I also um, before I get to my favorite product, um, I did use the detox um, shampoo. I had like a sample of it and I liked it. Um, not enough to like buy it again, but I would say for a detoxing shampoo, it was good. Da -da -da -da, my favorite one, the air dry foam. This is a very interesting product and I feel like it kind of stands alone, which is why it's my favorite. I don't feel like there's a ton of air dry foams on the market, which is why I was very interested in trying this and I made a whole like air dry essentials video. I'll make sure to link that. This product gives me like just enough hold for when I air dry, but it's not like a curly product. It's not, I wouldn't say like, it probably claims to like enhance your curls. Yeah, extract for soft texture. It's, it's so interesting. So it like enhances my wave and maybe even enhances my curl a little bit, but it's more like it's going to bring out your natural texture and then hold it there for the day without being like crunchy. That's what this product is. And which is why I really like it and why it's my favorite because I feel like it's very unique and there's not a lot of products out there like it. One downside, my pump broke. That is one thing that happens. I think I like, it stayed like this, like in a bag, in my bag, like while we were on a trip. And I think it just ruined my pump. So <laughs> I get what I can out of it. All right, so that is my favorite. And I will say that one smells good too. This one I would say has the least strong scent, but they're all different. And I will say that that's kind of 
a downside for this product because every single one has a different scent. So like if you're using all of these products, you're gonna have like all of these different like perfumey type scents in them, like in your hair and it might be like overwhelming. So if you get headaches from fragrance, don't buy this line. Like don't do it, don't waste your money, like move on to something else because you're not gonna like any of these products. The other thing I will say, I feel like as a hair brand, like styling shampoo brand, this would more fit in the category of like a cosmetic hair care line instead of like a hair care line. Like it's not going to repair your hair. It's not gonna add shine. It's not gonna add moisture. It's just more like a cosmetic type hair care line. So in my opinion, I just feel like if you're gonna use shampoo, why not use a shampoo that's gonna benefit you with hydration, smoothing, you know, damage control, like stuff like that instead of just like an everyday shampoo. That's my opinion, but take it or leave it. So that's what I would categorize this line as a cosmetic hair care line that likes perfume. It's almost like a perfume company decided to make hair care products. That's what I feel like this line is for. So I love the packaging. I love it. I think it's so, it's just the black, white, gray. It's just my vibe, you know? I, I like black, I like white, I like gray. And I think like the packaging all together, it's cohesive. Like I would love to have this on my counter because it's so pretty, but I don't want to use it. And that's it. That's my review of the Way Hair Care products. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Oh, oh, <laughs> too many fragrances in this room right now. If there is a hair care line or brand that you want to see, make sure to leave me a comment. If you would like to follow me on my Instagram hair page, I will leave the handles somewhere on the screen. And also follow me on TikTok. Perfect. That's it. I think those are all my plugs. I'll see you guys in the next video.